got something good to eat tonight. Hi, Mom. The coach really gave us a workout. Oh, boy, ham. I'm so hungry I could eat a, a neutral and see what he gave us to do. Sure. Huh? Could you serve yourself in a, in a less athletic manner? Oh. Is this better? Chuck. At least you could manage to be on time. After your mother goes to all the trouble to prepare a fine meal, it's... It's only common courtesy, Chuck. I know, but I couldn't help it. I was late home from school. Never mind. He did wash up and brush his hair. By the way, Chuck, I saw Barbara's mother downtown. That's quite a supper party she's planning. Mm -hmm. Is it this Friday? I'm not going. Why not? Do I have to have a reason? But all your friends will be there. Mm, Carl, I'm not Chuck, there. don't talk with your mouth full. Good night, Chuck. Good night. Have a good time. Thank you, Chuck. Night, good night. Who wants to go to a supper party? You do, Chuck. Huh? Who are you? We're looking into the future, Chuck. I am the young man you are going to be in a few short years. Well, if you say so. <laughs> and take it from me. When we're my age, we won't be turning down invitations. Well, maybe not. Tell me, why aren't you going? I don't know. I do. You're worried about not doing the right thing. Your table manners. Now you're talking like Mom and Dad. Look, you may not care much about table manners now, but when you grow up to be me, then you'll care. But why? Why does it matter? For several reasons. Look, maybe I can show you. Let's imagine the family at dinner with nobody minding his manners. <laughs> not very pretty, is it? Each person busy feeding his face, showing no consideration for the others. People become irritated, angry. No one can enjoy a meal like this. No. Meal time is a time for pleasure and relaxation. It's the best opportunity the family has to talk together, exchange bits of news, make plans. When everybody eats properly, the meal goes better, and everybody has more fun. What's more, when we relax and enjoy ourselves, we digest our food better. And ask your doctor if that isn't important to your health. But there's more. What's that? How long now before you'll be going out to make your own way in the world? Not very long, I guess. And whatever you do, wherever you go, you'll want to put your best foot forward. Here, let's try another trick. Let's change that to a table in a restaurant. You're taking a girl out to dinner. To make a good impression, you must know what to do. Who seats the girl? When you sit? How to order your meal? Of course, the girl wants to know these things, too, in order to show herself at her best. Then you must know how to eat your meal. And the only way to have good table manners when you want them is to practice them regularly at home. Get in the habit of eating properly so it just comes naturally. Or pick another case. Say you're having lunch with your boss. Say he's thinking about somebody to fill a good position that's opening up. Well, put yourself in the boss's place. Would you give the job to a fellow like this? Or to a fellow who thinks that table manners are silly? You see what I mean about putting your best foot forward? Table manners are important, because people judge many things about you just by the way you eat. All right, maybe so, but it's, it's all so complicated. Is it? 
Look, there's nobody here. Let's try it out. What do you mean? Come on. Besides, that supper party sounds good. If we know what to do, I think we'll want to go. Well... Look sharp now. There. There is a place setting properly arranged. It looks all right, but what am I supposed to do? That's the question. Well, what would you do if you sat down to dinner and found three forks, like this? I'd probably end up with one left over and wonder what I did wrong. Not if you remember one simple rule. Always use silverware from the outside in. So, starting from the outside, use this for your salad, this for your main course, and this... Why, that one must be for the dessert. You see? It's easy. But there's something funny here. Doesn't the butter knife belong here? Well, the book says either place. And speaking of the book, it wouldn't hurt you to use one sometime and check up on any points that you're not sure of. Sure, we have some books in school, but I'll have to be careful who sees me reading it. <laughs> Don't worry, you can manage that. And now to use these things. Let's have some food. Say, it's too bad you've just eaten. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Things will be easier if you'll remember that in eating, there are three kinds of food. Finger foods, fork foods, and spoon foods. Now, clean, dry foods, bread is one of them, are finger foods. But when you have something that's messy or sticky, you better use a fork. Yeah, like a cream puff? That's the idea. Now, fork foods include meats, potatoes, vegetables, salads, and many others. There's a right way to hold a fork, and this is it. Don't put onto your fork any more than one mouthful of food. Oh yes, after you've placed food on your fork, if you decide to talk, lay it down until you're ready to eat. It looks better. And this is the way to park a fork, after you've used it. Not propped up on the edge of the plate, huh? That's the idea. Here, now you try it. Okay. Now, with some fork foods, we need a knife. Let's see how you use it. The folks say I do it wrong. Hey, that's not only the wrong way, it's the hard way. Here, try this. Put the ends of both the handles in the palms of your hands, like that. Hold the meat with your fork and cut the meat. Don't tear it apart. See, this is better. You see, good table manners are just common sense. Is that right? Yes, that's the way most people in America handle their knife and fork. We don't have to worry with the European method. But now, after you've finished eating... I have. You place your knife and fork this way, to show that you have finished. But what about spoon foods? Oh, yes. All right. How do you manage soup? Hi, you don't fool me on this one. You never tip the bowl, and you dip the soup away from you. Not too much in the spoon, and you eat from the side of the spoon. Precisely. And now, would you care for some turnips? Oh, the turnips. You know I can't bear... Um, no, thank you. That's the idea, Chuck. Courtesy, consideration for others, common sense. That's what table manners are. You mean that's all there is to table manners, just what we've talked about? Oh, no. But you already know a great deal. And you can learn still more by watching mother and dad and other people who have good manners. But the main thing is... The main thing is, is to practice at home so that table manners will come naturally and I won't have to think about them when I'm out. You can't miss. Oh, let's stew the dishes. Mother should see that. Well, Chuck, are we going to that party? Sure we are. We are? That's right, Chuck. We are going to the party. You can't see me any longer, but remember, I'm the fellow you're going to be. So I'm interested in seeing that you always make a good impression. This really isn't hard, is it? You know what to do. That's right. Ladies first into the dining room. And now what? Right again. Find your place and remain standing. You see, Chuck, it's easy to do the right thing if you remember courtesy, consideration of others, and common sense. And also remember 
You're here not to see how much or how fast you can eat, but to have a good time. Yeah. Well, our boy is doing all right. Don't you think so? Don't you think you can do the same? 